Ryder, ship's fixed and ready to fly. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. I know we're improvising as we go, but let's remember that there is Pathfinder team protocol. Don't think I got that handbook. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down! Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Rider. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Havarl? is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? <laughs> You'll get there. Jal, give Kalo the nav points for both planets. Let's... Do this. What do you make of the Angara, Doc? One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two-hour argument yesterday, and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. 
movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? If I have time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Pathfinder, hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. What's your read on the people we're working with? The squad and crew? They're all fine. You must have opinions. Your opinion's more important. What do you think of your people? Everyone has the training, but this job is all new every day. That's probably what the Nexus is counting on. That our skills fit together to make it work. Up to us to figure it out. That's why this is our ship. So we own it. Want to make it work. We'll talk later. I know it. Feeling okay? I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. So, Jal. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... aliens. And you're alien to us. So there, we have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant, too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. 
<laughs> You're right. I signed up, uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value, that sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. As if I didn't have enough on my plate, add deciphering alien psychology. What plate? Exactly. See you later. Yes? What's your story, Jal? Tell me about yourself. Why? Well, why wouldn't you? You hiding something? Maybe. That would only make sense. I was born on Earth, the planet of the Soul System in the Milky Way. Hmm. That's interesting. Thank you. That's enough. Until we've established a better trust with each other. I did not like the look of that Archon. Maybe the Angara will let me pitch a tent on Aya for the duration. You'd let a bone-faced blowhard like that deprive you of my scintillating company? That blowhard hates you now. If you're not careful, he might deprive me of your company. <sighs> Alright. Next time, keep him on the line. I might have something to say. You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech? It's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Do I need to get Lexi to do a psych review? <laughs> Maybe. People have been telling me I'm crazy my whole life. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. It was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. Willing to put your streak on the line? Huh. I'll risk it. Next time we pulled up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. The Angara was super curious about the ship. A few were pretty bold. Asked me questions. What do you make of them? They know their shit. Quick-minded, sharp. They'll make good allies. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Con. 
Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. He's also the first cat who bothered to talk to us. That's useful intel. True. They can communicate. They just prefer to open fire. So, what else is new? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Nothing new. Let's stay optimistic. Any more commando war stories? We once infiltrated a dangerous cult by posing as new initiates. Belenza hated it. She was like our padre. The cult, that perversion of faith, really upset her. How did you stop them? Nasira pretended that Valenza needed to be purified of evil. She was given a private audience with the cult leader. Valenza shot her, and then prayed for her. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. has so much biodiversity and the waterfalls just like Sir Kesh mm. I saw pictures of the vault astounding how big it is and how much of it didn't you see what if it's way bigger what's all that space for with what it has to do it could go thousands of miles below the surface of the planet or completely span it. An underground network. Just a thought, of course. I wouldn't even know where to start hypothesizing how it all works. The remnant builders, whoever, whatever they were, accomplished something far beyond us. What do you know about the remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found god. But your work as a scientist... Convinced me even more. Especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor. Not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Every good space station needs a big lake. Maybe some fountains. Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I shall see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could... 
somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. You're taking the Angara, old man? Strong, honorable survivors. Been a while since I encountered a new friendly species. Last time was the humans. Oh yeah, you lived through first contact with them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were, they're bold for being so squishy, do they know they're mostly water? Harsh, don't let Ryder hear you. I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but that vault certainly was a first. Things are gonna be interesting with you around, kid. Doesn't matter what life throws at me. It's what I make of it, right? You keep that going, you just might live as long as I have. Minus zero at the end. Now that we've been digging, it's clear you were right about Spender. Guy like that'll do anything to get ahead. Just wonder how far he went. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, common cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. Tell me more about fighting cat. Wraiths are sneaky little shits, like the ghost up behind you when you least expect it. Just listen for them. They tend to give themselves away right before coming at you. Break through their head plates, then a headshot should do the trick. We can talk more later. Sure. Need something? Need something done? You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Anomaly detected. I'm picking up something. Satellite detected. Anomaly detected.
Mobile Way. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. I am Enro Bosan, assistant to Governor Paranshai. You're free to explore this area, but the city is off limits. Until that changes, I'll be your liaison. How may I help you, Pathfinder? Sounded like you and Jaw know each other. Our families are related. You sound nothing alike. We have multiple worlds. Our culture is complex. I'd like to know more. Earn our trust and maybe you will. When am I allowed to visit the city again? That's not for me to decide. Who will? Your boss? Or Ephra? Governor Shai has jurisdiction over Aya. She will authorize your entrance if you earn Ephra's trust. A museum curator and a colony supplier asked to meet you. They're waiting nearby. The Ked swayed us with words. Now we judge outsiders by their actions. What can you tell me about your other worlds? Life on them is hard, the people harder. Every day is a struggle to survive. Why not bring everyone here? We will not abandon any more worlds to the Ket. And Aya cannot support all of us. When am I allowed to visit the city again? The Ket swayed us with words. Stars above, it's you. I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? Yeah, this is home now. To take such a risk and give up your old life, why did you do it? For the chance to meet someone like you. Looks like it already paid off. Are all humans as quick with words? You'll have to find out. I suppose I will. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajar, curator for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And, the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? The Cat hit your people pretty hard, right? They did. But long before that, the Scourge destroyed our technology, first targeting our ships. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with a new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. How do you know about me and the Remnant? I have friends in the Resistance. They heard your conversation with Ephra. I know it's a lot to ask. But you have a ship, and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. I don't think Ephra would be too happy with this arrangement. Ephra doesn't have to know, and if he finds out, he can direct his anger at me. 
It takes guts to stand up to him. I'd face worse to get a piece of our history back. You're trusting your history with an outsider? I know what people say about you, but I don't agree. I think you're here to help. I am. Now's your chance to prove it. You want to earn Aya's respect, right? Recovering our past will go a long way. I've always wanted to give archaeology a try. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. Good to see you again. Any insight you can give the remnant tech? We don't know much. To our understanding, it's always been here. Start. I would love to be the one to solve that mystery. Is it normal for someone as young as you to be in charge? I'm no younger than you. And you're a Pathfinder. I kinda inherited the job. So did I. I was apprenticed to the former curator. It was my job to bring him artifacts from other worlds. When he retired, I sort of fell into his position. Do you miss relic hunting? Some days, but mostly I'm happy to spend more time with each piece. Have you always been into history? Oh yes. When I was young, I would dig up shells and pretend they were ancient armor pieces. I've always had a big imagination. With only 14 siblings, I got lonely sometimes. 14? That's insane. Why? How many do you have? Just the one. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. I should get moving. Come back soon. Send the human. 